Hi class, it's Summer TV again. Welcome to my channel. Today, my topic is about the formula related to compound interest. Under this main topic, I'm going to teach you how to solve each variable from this formula in case it has no value. On the board, you can see the meaning of each variable. Uh, observe this formula. Actually, the quantity A is just a product of two quantities. P is a single quantity. This expression here is a single quantity. So if you're going to think of this one as a simple multiplication, say A is 10. So this is just 10 equals to 2 times 5. And because we are dealing with with uh, multiplication, uh, there is what we call the commutative property. So you can also say A is equal to this quantity, this single quantity, times this another quantity. So if A is number 10, you can say A equals to 2 times 5 or A equals to 5 times 2. Easy, right? We can also say that A is equal to P plus I. Take note that A is not yet your compound interest. This is your final amount, which is the result of adding the principal and the compound interest. I here is actually our compound interest. I have here a sample problem. I'll give you a few seconds to read this. Class, are you done reading? Now, let us identify the values from this problem. Okay, what is our final amount? We do not know, so we leave A as it is. How about P, the principal? It is 100,000. Our keyword here is invest. You can also have the keyword borrow if we, are, if we have another problem. But for this problem, our keyword is invest. So we are going to change this one as 100,000. What is our compound interest rate? It is 3%. As long as you have a number with percent sign, it is our R. But take note, whenever you have a number in percent form, you have to change it into a decimal number how to do it okay i'll show you this is the shortcut i'm going to i'm going to teach you okay so we have three percent okay you can mentally change the person sign into a decimal point like that and then move the decimal point two places to the left. One, two. And you, and you put zeros in the empty places. Now, from 3%, you have a decimal number 0 0.03 or three hundredths. Okay. How about N, frequency of compounding? Our Q phrase is compounded quarterly. Whenever you have this phrase, compounded quarterly, that means your N equals 4.
In other problems, if you have the phrase compounded monthly, n equals 12. If you have compounded annually, n equals to 1. If you have compounded semi-annually, n equals to 2. If you have compounded biannually, n equals to 2. The class, what is our time? It is 2 years. So, our t equals 2. Okay, how about the compound interest? We do not know. So, if we're able to solve the final amount, we'll be able to solve also the compound interest. Okay, so, since we have the values for P, R, N, and T, we are now ready to replace the variables P, R, N, and T with their given values. I will show you. Plus, this is my solution to get your final amount. Okay, so we have replaced the variables P, R, N, and T with their given values. So, let us evaluate first the numbers inside the parentheses. And once you are inside the parentheses, you evaluate first the division. Okay? So, 0 0.03 divided by 4, that is equal to, okay, next uh, line we have inside the parentheses, uh, 0 0.0075 as the quotient of, uh, as, the, as the quotient, as the result of dividing 0 0.03 by 4. And at the same time, we also multiply the exponents, 4 times 2. So, we have 8 as the exponent in the second line of the solution. Next, you add the numbers inside the parentheses. So, 1 plus 0 0.0075. You can also read this one as tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, seventy-five, uh, ten thousands. Okay, one plus seventy-five ten thousands is equal to. In the third line, we have inside the parentheses the single number, one point seven one and seventy-five ten thousands or one point zero zero seventy-five. So as you can see, in Within the three lines of the solution, we focus on the numbers inside the parentheses. And we also uh, get the product of the exponents outside. After this, third line of your solution, you have to uh, get the power of this expression. So what is the number if we raise this single number, 1 and 75, 10 thousands or 1.0075 to the 8th power. That means you have to multiply this number 8 times by itself. Class, this is how to use the scientific calculator if you want to evaluate this expression. Okay, first, you press the keypad with open parentheses and you encode the number one the single number 1.0075 or 1 and 75 ten thousands then you press the keypad with close parentheses and then the keypad with this inverted letter v that one and then you encode 8 as your exponent so we press the equal the keypad with equal sign and this is it that's how I get this number from this calculator. 
Okay, we have this number after using the scientific calculator. Next, we multiply this number, this single number here, by 100,000. So, using the scientific calculator, the result is 106,859.8848 or 106,859 and 8,848, 10 thousands pesos. So, this is our final amount. This is not yet our compound interest. The compound is interest is contained, is inside this value. You may wonder, we have this another solution. Actually, they are the same. The difference is that uh, 100,000 is written as the second factor. So if you uh, look closely the solution, they are actually the same. The outcome is the same value. Now, uh, since we are really interested to get the compound interest, we have to use this formula. A equals P plus I. Let me write this properly. Yes, that's one. Okay, we need to use this formula to get the compound interest. I will show you the solution. Plus, this is my solution in computing the compound interest. Just a while ago, we have known that A is a product of two quantities such that one quantity is P. The other quantity is a binomial raised to the power of NP. And that will be continued in my next vlog. Class, I hope you have enjoyed my discussion so far. This is Summer TV and goodbye! But we can also express A as the sum of the principal and the compound interest. Since we have known that A is 106,159.8848, and we have also known the principal, it was given at the very start, 100,000. And I is the only variable here. So, since we are really interested to compute the compound interest, we can transfer. We can transfer 100,000 to the left side of our equation. So, from positive 100,000, it becomes negative 100,000 or minus 100,000 in the left-hand side. So, let us do the subtraction. So, after subtracting these two numbers, we have the difference 6,159.8848 as our interest. You can also read this one as 6,159 and 8,848, 10,000. But it's too long to say that one. So you can say 6,159.8848. Or it, uh, you can interchange this. So you can also have I equals to 6,159.8848 pesos. Or if we are academic, academically strict, you can also say I equals to 6,159 and 8,848.10,000 pesos. So... We are now, uh, we have uh, solved the values of the variables A and I. How about if we have the missing principal? 